Do you guys have as much junk and clutter in your life as I do? I organize, 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 and still, yesterday I'm working on the house. There's one tool that I need that I know that I have. I can't find it. I spend an hour looking for it and I can't find it. I'm getting ready to order a lot of stuff for plumbing, electrical. Uh, we're adding lights, plugs, all these different things for the remodel. And I hate to buy all these things when I know that I have them. I have them somewhere. We've done multiple, so many remodels and new construction. You really acquire these things when you order all the materials. And something that's hard to throw away. It's hard to throw away things that you know, wiring and plugs and plumbing fittings. I mean, you wouldn't want to throw them away, but it's sometimes it's hard to organize them today, but to organize them all where you can find them. So today I'm on a mission. Today is Operation Electrical. Operation Electrical, Cody, what is that? Well, you know, I have got, we're talking about wiring and plugs and electrical boxes and switches and all these things in boxes all over the place in four different buildings and in drawers and stuff and I never have taken the time to organize them. So today we're gonna do that. Dryer plugs, light bulbs, switch plate covers, dimmer switches, all of those things. Today is Operation Electrical. Tomorrow is Operation Plumbing. All right, we're in my main shop and I got two big boxes of stuff here. We're gonna pull out all the things that are relevant that we can use for the remodel. Brand new box of light switches, brand new box of switch plate covers, switch plate covers, phone jack, electrical boxes, dimmer switch, smoke detector, dual jack for phone, waterproof housing, blanks, mud ring, exterior box, plugs. I have been looking everywhere for this thing. <laughs> it's my nice uh, valve stem remover, my big one, like pro version. I've been using the tiny one. I've looked everywhere for this thing. Who, why is it in here? You know, when we sold our house to buy our off-grid, first off-grid place, it sold, I mean, once the deal went through, everything went so quickly because we got a cash offer uh, when we were packing, we just, we had to get everything packed. We had so much stuff uh, that it just didn't get packed thoroughly. So this is one of the casualties of that. This is feeling better already. Everything that's irre irrelevant out of this box has been put away in its proper place. We don't have to ever do it again. Now we'll tackle this one. Remodel box, switch plate cover, shallow box, switches, switch plate covers, phone jack, dimmer switch, and two wire nuts. So let's take a look at the harvest. We harvested from the boxes. I had more stuff here than I thought. So, electrical boxes, metal, mud plates, covers for those, plastic boxes. We got some deep ones, remodels, shallows, porcelains, those are really good for closets or, or shops, a smoke detector, We've got uh, all of these uh, conduit pieces and these, I don't know what they're called, the little things that go into junction boxes to perfect, protect the wire. We got conduit clips, a whole bunch of those. Wire nuts, red, yellow. We've got uh, circuit breakers. I don't know what type of panels I have. I have Cutler Hammer, Siemens, uh, General Electric, I don't know. They're all, you know, they're all proprietary. Re uh, what are these, 20 amp, three pin and four pins. We got dryer plugs and big receptacles for heavy wire, like for welders. We've got almond, brand new box of uh, outlets. We got lots of switches, enough to do everything. We even we can even choose our color, white or almond. We got white. Look at the switch plate covers. Most of them brand new. Lots of switch plate covers. Here's some metal ones for the metal boxes. We got almond phone jacks. I don't know why I have so many waterproof. Uh, receptacle boxes, exterior ones. You know, I always like those things. I think I buy one every time. I always like plugs outside. A remodel extender. And finally, not finally, blanks for the panel. If you knock out the panel. Finally, these two electrical testers. I've got a whole bunch of these. It seems like I bought, I, when I go to use it, I don't do electrical very often, you know, once a year or so. And whenever on I grab one of these electrical ones, these little ones here, which are super convenient because they're one hand use, the battery's always dead. It doesn't do me any good. And they always take some special battery that you don't have. I've got a couple of these I got from my granddad. These are the old school ones and they just work without power. They, they use the power off the plug. And it's the once of them vibrate, this one probably just has a light that comes on. For I think for the homeowner, I prefer these just because when you don't use it all the time, it's always, it just always works. There's such a lesson in that, you know, when we think about 
when it, you get down to what you really need and when you really have to count on something, the more complicated it gets, the more uh, likelihood it is it's not gonna work for you when you need it. Oh, also, two rolls of wire. Looks like a brand new roll, almost 100 feet of 12-2 there. 12-2 is the yellow. That is good for your larger circuits, your 20 amp, 30 amp or so. And we've got a 14-3, and that's got a four wire in it, or three and one ground for three-way switches. And this is all of the leftover. That probably half of what was in that bucket was just junk, rubbish. I didn't know what I had. So now I got, we'll break this all down. I got to figure out a way to organize this so I know where it's at. I can get it. And the thing that I like about doing this is that when I have to do an electrical job, there's nothing that makes me madder than knowing I have something or a tool, but I can't find it. So you end up going and spending your money and buying something you already have. This way, I'll take half a day and do all of this. When I go to do electrical work and I go to my electrical stuff, if I don't have it in there, I know 100% that I don't own it. And then I feel a lot better about going and buying it. Also, out of that came a lot of this type of thing, which is just big, heavy wires. Whenever I uh, we have an appliance or something that goes bad, I just cut the wire off of it and I, I roll it up and put it in here because it's nice to replace other ones um, if you need it. It's got the nice factory plug on it. But we're not done yet. I've got a whole nother barn full of other electrical stuff. So let's go see what we can find over there. You know, I'll bet not many of you have seen in here before. This is our, the old Homesteader barn. This is the barn that was it's probably over well over 100 years old, the one that was built for the original homesteaders here. I keep it uh, a lot of overflow and electrical stuff out here too, so let's go see what we got. So I didn't find near as many goodies out there. Most of the stuff out there was the plumbing stuff, and well, well, that's gonna be a daunting task, because I have a lot of that stuff. Switches, white, almond, white, a few switch plate covers, some metals, a couple boxes, another waterproof container, two can light trims, a porcelain, those J-Box things, but I did find uh, probably 25, maybe 30 feet of uh, number 10 wire. Right here, that stuff's expensive. That's the big stuff there for big circuits. Um, so now, next is, I need to find a clever way to organize this stuff where I can actually, I can actually use it, actually get to it. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I started off here, so I've got a couple of these old recycler bins here, and I can fit three of these boxes, these little parts bins in there, like this here, and then one sideways. And what I, I use, I have hundreds of these things from my previous business, but what's nice about these is that they stack on top of each other. Well, and you don't fill them up like that. So they stack up, so they sit flat. And so I can grab these, and when I'm doing plugs, I can grab this portion here, here, and that. So that'll take care of all the small stuff. Now the big stuff like the, all this 240 stuff, the dryer plugs and the circuit breakers on that, that stuff I'm just hardly ever gonna use, but I don't wanna throw it away. So I'll just keep that in there. And when I need to go to 240 or, or heavy stuff, I can get that. And then finally, where I'm gonna store all of my um, junction boxes or my blue boxes for walls and switches and all that, they're kind of bulky. And so I'll just fill, keep that in there as well as the wire. So I can put, I can put all these rolls of wire in there and these guys. So it'll be pretty narrow, my electrical stuff, when I'm doing electrical work, I'll narrow it down to three things. It'll be ha this box here, have, have all that stuff in it. It'll be this yellow one here, and then my little grip, which I'll show you here in a bit, it has my, that's my pack around stuff when I'm do, that has all the, my immediate need items in. I don't know about you, but for me, one of the pleasures of life is getting things organized. Man, getting, thing or getting things organized is easy. It's the keeping them organized that is the hard part. 
So we have, uh, boy, the remodel is, I'm, I'm getting excited about it. There's a lot of planning that goes into it. And we are kind of the, well, let's tear it all down and then decide what to do later rather than plan from the beginning. But now we're kind of in the planning stage. So it's ordering fixtures, ordering lights, ordering all these different things and going through what I have. And, and so we're going to really be hitting it hard pretty soon. And yeah, I'll be sharing that with you as well. I have got a video, one of the worst things I've ever had to do in my entire life, one of the worst jobs, was replacing this gigantic transmission in my old bull bulldozer, and I had the pleasure of doing it twice. So I think you'll enjoy that video. Uh, what else was there? Oh, hmm. I knew I wanted to say something. Well, I guess that's it. We, uh, If you guys haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that now. And uh, please take a moment and click the thumbs up. And I know you're going to ask, yes, I got a new coat. And yes, it is a wonderful coat. It's one of the best coats. It may be the best coat I've ever had. Um, I put that in my Wrangler Mart store. Wrangler Mart. Yeah, wranglermart.com. Uh, I'll put a link there. You can go over there and take a look at that. It's a bit expensive. Uh, we have uh, some friends that have uh, a, what was it? One of them works, or they know someone that works at the outlet store, or not the outlet store, but the employee store. And uh, we got to go in there with them and, and got to get some things on sale. So the family all got new winter coats, so we're really appreciative for that. So I guess that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video.